Hey, it's Joel again. Um, today I want to go over some more Matchbox and my Jammers cases that I collected. Um, there was a period of time I just really took a look at some castings and I said, you know, those are really cool. And I just had to have them. So um, these are pretty much unlicensed, but they all have a common theme. They're construction. Uh, base castings and uh, I'm going to go over these okay and this part of the jammers case all right so I don't know if I can remember the names but let's we'll see if we can find out this is just simply titled dump truck it's a plastic bed it does stay up Six wheels. Uh, this part's metal. The base is plastic. Okay. Kind of a little bit busy on the side, but kids probably like that. Here's another one. Matchbox mover. Just another dump truck. Um, and these dump trucks also have tow hitches in the back. So again, the dump bed stays up. And then I have a couple uh, like shovels. See what the name of this one is. Excavator. And that is a copyright date of 1980, so it's been around a while. Uh, it just articulates here, not here, and the shovel. So this part, this part here doesn't move. Just these, these two parts. So same Tampa design, just one's green and white, the other one's orange and white. Orange shovel, green shovel, everything else is the same. Uh, no Matchbox construction company name or anything like that, unfortunately. So I'll set those aside, get those in later. Uh, here we have, well this is something I bought at my club meeting and the treads came off. Um, well, this one will slide back on, but this other one here broke, and uh, just because these old treads, they, they break, but it does have the cat symbol on it, and it is a matchbox, uh, tractor, don't see a date or anything. Um, the shovel doesn't really move in or out or up or down, but the treads moved at one time, I'm sure. But I bought it because it was still cool even with the broken tread. So put that one back in. Uh, this other one does not say Caterpillar, and the treads are still halfway decent on here. They still move. Some degree, not great. Okay. Still the same casting now. Um, don't remember where I got this. I don't remember if I bought it online or if I got it at the club. Here's another one, same casting, different color. So we have an orange and black, yellow and black, red and black. Here is a front end shovel. Let's see what they're calling this one. They're calling this one chapter shovel. And that's exactly what it is. And this does raise up and down. The shovel doesn't move, but kids playing in the dirt don't love this. Okay. And this is pretty cool. Uh, here is an old one. This might have been mine as a kid. I don't remember. Uh, I'm not sure if the paint's on there because my sister painted it. She had done that with some things. It does have some plastic base. Uh, it's super fast. And 
I can't read that right now. I don't know if it'll come up. It had this sticker on it, and that came off. So I'll just leave it with it for the time being. Okay. <clears throat> this looks like a GM wrecker. It's called Breakdown Van, but it's from 1995. Front end looks like GM. Um, this is pretty cool because this articulates. So if you press this, raise and lower. So that's kind of cool. That is really nifty. Kind of looks like a van was cut off in the back here. That is really something cool. I didn't notice that before. How about that? It does look like it's based on a GM van, but it's a no name. So I kept it in here. Here is another uh, old. No plow. All right. Uh, I do not know if this is Matchbox or not. Um, I thought it might have been, so I put it with my Matchbox. But this is the wheels kind of look like Matchbox. Uh, they also look like Hot Wheels. I don't know. Maybe someone can tell me what this is because it doesn't have anything on here on the base other than the name. And it's made in Hong Kong. I, I got some other dump trucks with four wheels. And these are also known as just a dump truck. Okay. Um kind of got some coloration in there and make it look like it's been used or distressed and this is this is metal this is all metal except for the base and the wheels for plastic that is really cool and you see how these wheels look the same as these it's not as big though they're not as wide similar very similar not quite the same Here's a newer one of what we just looked at. This has a plastic bed. Okay. And a metal body and a plastic base and plastic wheels. This is very similar to the one that we just looked at, except it is orange. Has some writing up here. Plastic. Nope, this is metal. That is metal. This is metal too. And here we have some. What are we calling this one? Mobile crane. And this part. Up and down. This can go left and right. I might go 360. Yeah, it goes 360, and this goes up and down, and this articulates. So that has a lot of motion for a one dollar toy. That is really good. Okay, that's really nice. All right, so we've got a blue one. Got another blue one, but this is a little bit more with distressed looking. Everything still articulates. Okay. So it's made to look distressed. It's got a little symbol right here. MB4. MB4U. Matchbox for you, I guess.
here we have, well, that fits right through in there. Similar type item. Not quite. Let's see what they're calling this. MS Excavator. So that does raise and lower, and it comes off. So I'm sure I can get it to snap back in. Um, this rotates 360. And so it's a newer item. This is uh, this is metal. The rest is the rest is plastic. Okay, so <clears throat> and here we have the scraper. Here's a nice red, white, and blue one. This articulates. Uh, this doesn't, but. The cab does. That articulates. Red, white, and blue is a nice color for that. And here's another one. The cab articulates. And this has the rude crew symbol on it. All right, that's it for my construction. Any questions, comments, uh, please let me know. Thumbs up, thumbs down, um, you know, holler. Uh, anything you'd like to see, anything I can explain more, please let me know, and I'm happy to hear from you. Thanks a lot. You'll have a good day.